All right, we're back. So I got my bench, bench all cleaned up. Got the rocker boxes. So these have all been clear coated. No special coating. So the problem with these is trying to get the uh, buffing compound out of these damn things. So you can coat them. So it looks like this has got a little bit of dirt got into here a little bit There's a scratch there or something oh well we're not painters here imperfections happen so you feel it in the covers oh well so we'll put this one in front it has less in, less issues we'll make this the front rocker box make that the rear one That'll work. Anyway, I tried lots of times, lots of different ways of cleaning these things, and all the ultrasonic cleaner does is destroy it. You see, it's got like veins in here in the in the polish underneath. It just comes out of the die cast material when it didn't want to go away. So anyway, it's these have been repolished three times now. Maybe four times? I think four times. So, anyway, this is my last go at it. So Ben did these ones. The clear coat kind of dulls them a little bit. It's uh, not quite as shiny as if they were not clear coated. But uh, that's typical of clear. But anyway, they are what they are. They should stay that way for a lot of years, so hopefully they do. Okay, so now we got to work on the, put the rocker boxes on up over here. We're going to have to have a lot of stuff now. So we need push rod covers, push rods, rocker boxes. We've got those rocker arms, rocker arm shafts, and hardware. A lot of hardware. So we got to find some hardware to use. Hopefully there's enough hardware over here. I can use something. You never know. So i got a brand new crane. Last of my crane parts. i got a set of shafts. Set of uh, O-rings for the crane rocker arms. So hopefully these are the ones I need. He has the old style crane roller rockers with the needle bearings in them. So they have O-rings that seal the oil in the arm, otherwise they just blow all out. So hopefully this is the correct O-ring for that goes in here. I'm hoping. I got three bags of these here are the last of the shelves. Rocker arm bushing needle bearing. All right. Well, see, that's two different types. That's plain bearing, which is the bushing, and they got needle bearing, which is what we have. My guess is the shaft works for both. So anyway, I got a brand new set of those. So hopefully those will work. Otherwise, you're shit out of luck because cranes no longer around and nobody's making this crap no more. So once I run out of it, good luck. His arms are good, so we're going to use them. It's high quality stuff, so crane does make good stuff. Alright, so we just happen to have four of them too. There's three in the line. Number four. Here's the two fronts and two rears. That's even better. Perfect. Alright, so that's that. Got a brand new set of crane push rods. He had a push rod that was bent, so he said, screw it, just give me new ones. Okay. So I have uh, lots of uh, twin cam and Evo new push rods, crane. I even got the uh, quarter inch longer ones if you got a big stroker motor. So it takes two shorts and two longs make up a set. So it'd be intake and exhaust. In case you didn't know the difference. Like this. This is 3 A's. I like these better than the uh, SNS uh, fully adjustable ones. These these lock down better. And they stay tight. They don't come loose like the SNS ones are. These are easier to adjust. The only disadvantage is these have to be you have to have the rockers out to put these in. These are not fully collapsible. These are a lot lighter too. 
do three eighths diameter instead of seven sixteenths. So, but anyway, I like these. Uh, they work pretty good. I never had a problem with these crane rods. They always seem to just work. So yeah, I got lots of those things left. If you ever need any, when you buy up all the old inventory, you get lots of parts. So okay, here is our twelve point rocker box hardware. Let's go on top. So it matches the lifter blocks, and it should eliminate that stupid rusty ass Allen look that I don't like. And I don't think I'm going to use any of this stuff here. I'll probably come up with my own stuff. We'll see. Okay, what else we got laying around here? More junk. These we're going to need. Okay, we got fish rod covers we got to deal with. We gotta lay them up so we don't damage them. They're laying over here somewhere. What do I do with a push rod? There they are. Here's our push rod covers. These are the fancy bill aluminum ones that he had made up, or they used to be able to buy back in the day. So these have all been clear coated. I B blasted everything and then clear coated it, just like he wanted. So these are still spring loaded so they work good. They're not those stupid screw together ones that are a pain in the ass to use. So these I have to put new O-rings in. We just happen to have over here in our kit. Right here. We also need to put the washers in our lifter blocks, which are these ones. So it's time to separate out the parts we're going to use and not use here. At some point, you have to do that. There's four of those. There's four of those. Okay, so I got the four and four here. So these are for the lifter block, and these are for the push rod covers. So we need four springs, which we happen to have four springs. Okay, so I got everything I need to put that together. We got the O rings right here. Pulls out. Assembly going on here. Okay, so you take an upper, you take a cover, take a springy, take a washer, grab an O ring. The O ring you want is the one that fits tight around the cover. And push it all the way down. And this is our cover. The tapered here is what goes up because that's what collapses the o-ring on the tube here and it pinches it and makes it seal the spring puts pressure on it to keep it tight on the top and bottom so that goes in there like that didn't slide real easy but that's how it works he has these billet clips that go on the top so that's all together it looks like that Okay, so these we need these laying out so we can get access to them. Got the stuff all laying over here in its own box so it didn't get scraped, scratched up. At least that's what we're trying to do. Not sure how good it worked. Seems to be working so far anyway. Now, if you don't have the washer, it'll still work, but the O-ring should be supported, not just by the spring. And I've seen a lot of them put together without the spring. What's the washer in there? But you do have to have the spring. If you don't have a spring, it don't work. Okay, there's our washer. And our full ring and our cover. Okay, so there's our push rod cover arrangement. That's all good to go. And these are the push rods, so we'll put them on there with them. Those all have to go together as a unit. Okay, these here, these go on top of the lifter block and they keep the oil ring from dropping into the hole. Kind of important. They go right over here. So. 
There's a sharp edge, a dull edge. I always put the sharp edge down. That one was on upside down. It looks like it's about that way. Sharp edge there, dull edge there. You can see it. That's sharp, dull. Okay, so that keeps the O ring from going down. These are our O rings right here. They just go right in the hole, right like that. So that's how you do those. Don't forget to put either one of these two parts in there. You will have a big oil leak if you don't have these in there. Okay, we still should still be up on top. Yep. And the other one's up in there too. Okay, so all the oil rings are in there like they belong. So this is all ready to go together. Okay, now I gotta find all the rocker box hardware. So there should be three of these per box. That means we need six of them. These are all grade eight. And these look like they're metric. What kind of a number is that? Jeez. They look like American thread. Okay, there should be a washer. There's a washer under it. Good. So I need a few washers here. These are the old tops. See how they get rusty in there? 12 points don't do that. See how that gets all dinged up. That's why I put a new one in the motor. I don't know what these are for. We're not using them though. Okay, there's two different lengths of these. A short one and a long one. These are all the same so far. There's the short one. See the difference? Of course, we need more washers to go with those. That is not the correct looking washer. Or maybe that is the correct. This is not the right washer. This is the correct washer. These are quarter inch washers. That's not the right bolt. Now there should be four Allen bolts that I don't see. Here they go. There's four of these. Two per box. There's three. Some bolts. There's the other one. Now there's supposed to be a little washer because underneath that head of that too. It looks just like that one right there. And two. Now if you don't have that little washer, the Allen bolt here wants to suck into the rocker box. So those go underneath here. Right here. They suck this hole. They actually suck inside this hole I've seen. So you can see how there's an outline of where the washer was. So those are where the two Allen bolts go. Yeah, what are the hardware we got? One of those. That's not the right one. That one is. It's another short bolt. It goes over here. Okay, you got two washers. One of those goes there. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Could be missing some parts here. Well, that's not the correct washer, but it would work, I guess. Of course, we got one of them. Why would you have two? That's a lock washer. Lock washer. There's a non lock. Nope, that's a lock washer, too. Hmm. Looks like we're missing some hardware we need. This goes over with that. The intake manifold bolts. Kind of rusty looking. Might have to upgrade. 
I got some new 12 point alloys we'll put with that, make it look a lot better. These go a little tight again. Hmm. I think we're missing some hardware. All right, what we got here? We got, uh, I guess one long bolt. There it is over there. Got two washers for that. Two, we're missing one washer. There's another washer. A little bit small though. That one's small too. Got to pick one to use out of those two, I guess. So, it appears that we're missing these things right there. We have one of these that could be used. We have a lock washer that will not work. And the problem with this is it gets to be so big in diameter. You can get away with your seal there, but it looks like it'll fit. Don't particularly want to use a lock washer. All right, I do not see what I'm looking for. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go dig up a couple of those. All right, so uh, looks like I got most of the other hardware. Okay, let me do some more digging. We'll be back. All right, new problem. It's going to stop us from building the motor right now. Okay, these rocker arm shafts are smaller diameter than normal. And these things are worn pretty heavily here. And this one is coming apart here. So I can flip these things over and get a new surface and wear them in that way. Which would probably work alright for a while. It's not exactly how you want to do business around here, but. You can see how they're already worn. So you just flip them over. You can make them work again. So it wouldn't really make much difference doing it that way, I guess. But it's not exactly how I like doing things. These shafts here are bigger diameter, which is the same as regular shafts. So these are the same thing. These are the same as a regular shaft. These are different. Same length, different diameter. So, that's the problem. Have to see what the customer wants to do about that. Okay, this shaft here is four on the gauge, so it's 554. Pretty much on the nut. And these are five inch, five, half inch. Fourth LS, so that's more than I can just shorten the shaft up. So these would have to be ground. Instead of these would have to be ground, undersize. To the half inch. So all I can do is put them all together with the old shelves, and then new shelves have to be made and have to ship them to them. That's all I can do. You're not going to come up with stock shelves. Now these should be heat treated and they're not. That's why they're eating themselves up. I'm shocked if these were hardened. Damn, they actually are hard. Files not cutting on them. So these are heat treated. So they're made correctly, but they're still, they wear through. So you're not going to find a set of these laying around. Very doubtful. So that means you'd have to be, you can't just take a regular shaft here and cut it down. You'd have to have a, a shaft heat treated or make one from scratch and then grind it down. More custom stuff. And these are actually look like they're stepped a little bit. 
Yeah, they are. Three thou. Yeah, these are stuff to go through the stock rocker box. Yeah, they're two and a half, two and three quarter. There's three thou over. Because the stock shaft won't go through the hole at four thou. So I guess, yeah. With one thou less, one and a half thou less, it goes through the bearing. When you get over where it works, it's got the correct clearance. Yeah. Wonderful. That's the problem with this stuff. So the other option is to not use these rocker arms, put put new arms in there. That'll be the other option. So I'll contact the owner, see what he wants to do. For now, all I can do is put the old shelves in, flip them over so the good side is up. And then we can use the little arms, and we're down the road. Put the motor to finish the motor up tomorrow. It's done. I could put a brand new set of roller rocker arms in, or a brand new set of regular rocker arms in, with stock shafts, and we're done that way. And just get rid of the roller rockers, or go to a, an aftermarket set of roller rocker arms. I got a bunch of Ultima ones laying around. Put those in there and get rid of the, the crane rockers. Now roller bearings eat up stuff. That's why they get away from bushings to live longer. So. All stuff to be figured out by the owner, not me. So, but it does keep me from putting the motor together. It's fun. I did find uh, some uh, washers in my junk pile. So I got the correct uh, flat washers for here and the correct little ones to go over here. So I have all the correct hardware I need for that. And like I said, this will be the top ones here. that will take care of that. So everything's ready to go together, except we have a problem right there. And I still haven't checked to make sure these fit in there yet. That'll be the next problem, but I'm pretty sure these would work, so I'm not worried about those. Anyway, that's where we're at for the night. So we are going to get here before tomorrow. See, it's not tomorrow yet. It's only 11.15. Scooby's going to be happy because he's been running around wanting to get out of here. Scooby, you ready to go home? Scooby, where you at? He's sleeping over there again. All right. Well, that's it for now. We'll have to finish this in another day, which will be tomorrow. All right. That's it.